Hi guys, it's Rachel from The Little Reading Lamb. guys today I have my best of 2012 and sorry this is a little bit later I was meant to do this in 2012 but I had so many other videos I wanted to put out like my book haul and all those reviews and everything so I didn't get to it so this is gonna be around January 10th I think this is gonna be posted because school has been really hectic this week but the weekend I'll be able to at least at least by the weekend I'll be able to put up all these videos if not already so my best of 2012 is my top 10 and I have the conflicted award which is like a bonus book because I had a bonus book and it really conflicted me so in a good way um and also this list includes um books from different years it's in the 84 books I read this year that's the books I was picking out for my top 10 most of them aren't 2012 new releases um but some of them necessarily aren't so yeah so they're of everything I read in 2012 and these are no particular order. I liked all these books equally, and I still loved a lot of the books I read. It's just these ones were the ones that I would read again in a heartbeat. The first book I have is The Fall to Our Stars by John Green. And I hope you can see these covers because I don't know how good the lighting is. And I absolutely love this book, and I actually um, bought the audiobook. So I have that too, and I've been listening to it on the way to school um, in the afternoon when I'm walking home and it's I just love this book it was such a good book it was my first John Green book too this year and since then I've read Looking for Alaska but this is still my favorite of the two I've read the next book is The Selection by Kira Cass oh and The Fall Turner Stars is a 2012 new release The Selection is 2012 too just in Canada they came on paperback I know in the US they came on hardcover I'm pretty sure um but this yes a 2012 new release and this by Kira Cass Selection if I didn't already say that and this is going to be a trilogy Fall Turner Stars, I forgot to say, is a standalone. This is going to be a trilogy in the next book, The Elites, out April 23rd this year. So I'm super excited. Like, me and my friend are so much, so much anticipating this. And it's an amazing book. And it's kind of like The Bachelor and Hunger Games. That's what it's compared to. So, yeah. I love this book. It had me, like, I read it twice already, I think, this year. Or three times. I can't even remember. Um, the other book's on the bottom of the stack. So the next book is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, and I absolutely love this one. Like, I had a lot of homework at the time I was reading it, and I was needing to read it over and over again. And this is a standalone, I'm pretty sure. I couldn't see it really being, it ended on a really good note. Um, and this is just a gorgeous cover, and it's a 2012 new release as well. And it's about, like, a girl who has never really hung out with her next door neighbors um, because her mom thinks they're crazy, and then one summer her and the boy next door meet up. And I absolutely love this book, like, so much. <laughs> all, all these books I loved so much. Um, where did the next book go? There it is. The next book is Summerland by Elin Hildebrand, and I love Elin Hildebrand's um, works. I've read Barefoot, Silver Girl, um, The Castaways, uh, Nantucket Nights, The Blue Bistro, and Castaways and absolutely love it and this one was really good it was her new release this year so this is a 2012 new release i know in the u.s it comes out in hardcover but in canada it comes on paperback and this is basically about um like a girl named penny who has a twin um and they get in a hobby and they get in a horrible car accident and her boyfriend's in a coma and the other oh no her brother's in a coma and their friend two Penny's boyfriend and her other friend are okay and it sort of goes from different perspectives so you have like Hobby's perspective like the boyfriend's perspective the friend's perspective all those perspectives it was really good like I absolutely love Elin Hildebrand's books like I can't read them like I can read them over and over just you can't read too many like you can't keep read one continuous one after another that easily because they're so heavy and they're just really thinking books but they're amazing you guys should definitely check them out um, they're adult books, though, too, and that's a standalone, I know that. The next book 
is Allie's Pretty Lies by Sarah Shepard. And this was the second last book I read in 2012. It actually comes out in 2013, but I'm counting it as 2012 because I read it in 2012. And this is a prequel to the Pretty Little Liar series, and it's um, taken with Allie's perspective. The next book is Stunning by Sarah Shepard. Oh, and Pretty Little Lies by Sarah Shepard, if I didn't say that. Allie's Pretty Little Lies. Stunning, and this is the 11th book in the Pretty Little Liars series. And I'm not going to give you guys a synopsis because it's the 11th. And I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. And the next book is the 12th book in the Pretty Little, Pretty Little Liars series, Burned, by Sarah Shepard. I'm not giving you a synopsis as well. And all three of these were new releases in 2012. And the 13th and 14th, I'm pretty sure, are coming out this year. At least the 13th is. Usually she has two in one year come out for the series. The next book is... I'm looking at my agenda, that's why, if you see me looking down. The next book is Fever by Lauren Day Stefano, and I loved Wither, Wither by Lauren Day Stefano. And this book came out such a long time ago. It seems like it was like last February, and the conclusion to the series, Sever, comes out, I'm pretty sure, this February, or it's early March. And these covers are absolutely gorgeous. And look at this, guys. Ooh so pink and these books are amazing you guys should definitely check it out it's a dystopian series and it's a trilogy and it's just an amazing series it's about a girl named ryan and in their society girls live to 20 and boys live to 25 so there's a lot of sister wives and stuff like that it's an amazing series though the next book didn't and that was a new release as well the next book, it's not a new release, the 2012 is 2011, but it's Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I read this and Lola and the Boy Next Door, but I didn't like Lola and the Boy Next Door as much, so it didn't qualify, but I loved Anna and the French Kiss. I read it twice this year, once in May, and I'm pretty sure once in August. And if I can read it twice, it makes it a really good book. And I love the deckled pages so much. And I'm really excited because the third, like, these are all comparison novels. Um, that's what it's called, so the characters... From in Lola and the Boy Next Door, there was Anna from Anna and the French Kiss. So, like, they they all connect. And in the next one, it's Isla and the Happily Ever After. And it follows Josh from this book. So I'm super excited for that. The last book out of my top ten is 52 Reasons to Hate My Father by Jessica Brody. And I absolutely love this book. It kept me on my toes. I wasn't, like, I love Jessica Brody's books now. But this was my favorite of the ones I read this year. And it's so good. I just love the cover. It's, like, hilarious. She's, like, so glamorous and she has an eat tasty donut handle. And this one's basically about a girl um, who gets a reality wake. Her father gives her 52 jobs so she can learn responsibility before she gets her mega trust fund. And on to the Conflicted Award. So this book had me really conflicted in a good way. I didn't know which person to choose, which brother. Conrad or Jeremiah which one I was rooting for and I'm still lost and whenever I think of this book it just makes me happy and angry at the same time because I don't even know who I'm rooting for but I loved it regardless and that is We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Hahn. I read the whole trilogy this year the first book's The Summer I Turn Pretty and the second book It's Not Summer Without You and I loved this book like I absolutely love the series but this book had me the most conflicted and I was gonna put on my top 10 but I didn't have room so this conflicted award is an award I'm gonna have every year and it's a book that made me really conflicted like I loved it but it had some like it had like it had like a love triangle or something that made me conflicted but in a good way if that makes sense anyway I really enjoy this book and yeah so that was my um, best of 2012. I'm sorry if that was a little rambly and not on task at all, but try my best and I have them all written down here. And my January TBR should be posted around the same time. I said I was going to be posted last week, but I'm sorry guys. And also I got five new subscribers in like three days and that's a lot for me. And I'd like to thank all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers, all my subscribers. And I've gotten so many nice comments from you guys and comments, um, especially on the Allie's Pretty Little Lies review video. And I really love hearing your guys' input, so definitely comment if you have anything to say or any book suggestions. Or if you guys liked any of these books, because definitely if you haven't read them, you should read them. And I love to hear you guys think. That's basically what I was trying to sum up there. So thanks everyone for watching my video. Thanks all my subscribers, all my video watchers. And I will see you later. Bye.